Today we're going to talk about building designs. Now you may say in New York City, every building's a different design. And you're right, to a certain degree. For example, the Empire State Building, thousand something feet in the air, it's its own building built over 100 years ago. Then there's a little building down south called the Freedom Tower. Recently constructed, one of the tallest buildings in the world, modern age uh, construction. And then you have something like this, your old loft building which is built with one or two designs that they still use today from a hundred year old building to a modern building. It's either a side core building or it's a center core. So the question becomes, what does that mean? I change my souls every two months, pounding the streets of Manhattan, Tribeca, Nomad, Uptown, Midtown, Fifth Avenue, Soho, Wall Street. 20 years and $500 million of office space later, the Manhattan skyline keeps growing and I can't get enough of it. My name is Michael Kaufman. I'm a commercial real estate broker and this is the Manhattan Office Space Vlog. Well, let's start with the basics. This is a side core building. By meaning that is that the elevators, whether it's the freight or the passenger elevators are on the side of the building. Now, some companies view this as an advantage. You come off and you're into the space and there is basically a clean line of sight that you can look at, you can see people, it allows for um, perimeter offices, bullpens, things like that, but ultimately the advantage is that it's one free-flowing space from the elevator. So Matt, remember when your space was like the 22nd floor, a white box? Oh yeah. And Absolutely. then uh, look what it became today. We like an open pit. We like the energy that you see in here. We like that collaboration, a very collaborative environment. We're a sales organization. Uh, we love energy. Um, between my partner and I, some of the things that we wanted, light, open, uh, access to the street, proximity to Penn Station, it was not a lot. We looked for months. No, but we looked for almost a year to get the right space. Yeah, we looked for almost a year, but that was the key. You knew when we found this, this had the right flow. You had your privacy, reception. At the same time, you had energy, everything rolled. You have your meeting rooms, your breakout rooms. It satisfied your needs as individual and Doug as an individual. Yes. And ultimately, it's added to the success of the company, correct? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. This is the engine, this is the heart of the whole company. Yeah. It had to be this way, it had to be open. Yeah, it, it, and more importantly, Matt was very intuitive. He chose this space for a second floor, and a lot of people don't want the second floor because of the street. They put their company's logo on the top part of the window all around. You only have about a million people that walk past this in a 24-hour period a day. He didn't take the space for business reasons for that. However, it's just the, let's call it subliminal message, blind ad, maybe one day someone say, I see your name, I know you are. Now granted, you guys have eight locations across the country, but you started out as five guys in a little office up the block, and we kept growing together and we ended up like this. Uh, the, the banner and the wrapping of the corner of this building was has a been key, great. It was great. Key, One of the selling points. Yes. yes, exactly. One of the selling points. So part two of my discussion was the second type of building, and that's a center core building. What does that mean? Well, let's walk and talk. Center core. Here's the center and everything else wraps around it. Unlike a side core where we came to the side and everything flows to one side or the other, this is truly in the center. Advantage, privacy. Disadvantage, no line of sight, but for a law firm, it's a very efficient layout and serves a very specific purpose. Let's walk. So as most law firms, your reception is right off of the court. But most importantly, it allows for several offices or multiple offices, privacy and divisions. So now, if you see, we're circling around one side of the core. We're on the northern side of the core right now. And yes, that's a good attorney. When you see that much, it means they're busy. <laughs> now we're facing east. We're coming back to the beginning of the core, which a lot of people prefer to have the conference room. Conference room off the core allows privacy, same time presence off the elevator. Very efficient for industries like this. And then we head south. Support areas, offices. So if you notice, not a lot of collaboration 
second to second to minute to minute. I'm sure there's multiple meetings a day, but those are done in offices or in a conference room. The understanding is here. Different designs work for different type of companies or don't work for different type of companies. And that's important to know who you are. So what do you do with a space like this? How do you create it to work for your company? I would say most companies are gonna use this window line to their advantage. Use it for some offices, a lot more meeting rooms are happening today, conference rooms. But at the end of the day, it's collaboration, it's energy. So you have a plethora of open space where you can have cubicles, meeting rooms, meeting areas, breakout areas. And that's really what drives most companies today. The world's become very collaborative, which is positive. And buildings like these, a side core, allow us to create that flow. Everything's about the flow. However, still create privacy when needed, whether it's talking about uh, proprietary information or having a conference meeting with a client, or more importantly, just having your own little area where your division, your group works. Um, traditionally, you're gonna come off and have a reception area, greeting area, and that's important. You still need some type of division between the company and visitors and guests. It helps set the stage, maybe it creates a little anxiety for who's coming for an interview, or maybe a little anticipation. But all in all, something like this really meets a lot of companies' needs because it's ability to flow. And that is why Sidecore buildings are usually the favorite of most designs. New York City office market is as crazy as this town, but I'm there to help. So if you have any questions, comments, or maybe I can help you find your newest space, hit me up. Always happy to help. Thanks. See you next time.